Are you interested in buying yourself a set of the Ninja Stay Sharp knives? Well, I'm here to give my professional opinion as a chef about these knives. I bought a set and we're going to get them unboxed and we're going to review them. Let's jump straight into this. One pizza too many cooking and unboxing videos. Welcome back everybody and today I'm dead excited to get these unboxed. Got these as a birthday gift of my wife and I thought you know what let's do a video on the channel as I'm sure other people are interested in these too and are they any good? Are they worth buying, spending your hard earned money on? Because knives as we all know can be very hit and miss. Over the years, 23 years in kitchens, I've spent an absolute fortune on some knives but I do still have some knives that I got when I was 16 as an apprentice, some Vitronox knives. Will these be as good? So let's find out and let's get them unboxed. So straight away you'll see, come in a nice standard ninja brown box and what we have here, okay, is item number K32005UK. Let's get it unboxed. So all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut through the sellotape on the top. A bit ironic that you need a knife to open the knives. And then you'll see the first glimpse of what we're getting. So let's tip it over. nice you've got to say I do like ninjas packaging and um, with all the stuff that I unbox on the channel it always looks pretty funky and modern so it says ninja foodie stay sharp knife block with integrated sharpener now this is what I'm interested in is it really going to keep the knife sharp this is the five piece set I didn't want the set with all the steak knives because to be totally honest I've never used all of them I just wanted the one with the decent size chef's knife it says professional sharpening maintain incredible sharpness at home it says durable stainless steel built to last with german stainless steel precision blades makes it easy to slice through tough ingredients and you need to stay tuned for once we've unboxed these because i am going to do some slicing and dicing and we're going to see how good these really are it says Continuously sharp performance time after time. It says, stay sharp stone wheel. So it's, I'll move it a bit closer so you can see, but I'll also add, add photos for you. So it says, stay sharp stone wheel, dynamic stone sharpening wheel, engages blade at the perfect angle and applies the optimal amount of pressure to restore your blade to superior sharpness. I like that. Versus a grooved sharpener with the V grooves. These sharpeners do not consistently engage the blade. The angle and the pressure used vary each time, which can damage your blade. And you know what? That is true. As a professional chef, I use a, a knife sharpening steel the majority of the time. And it is hit and miss whether you have good days and bad days of sometimes you nail it every time. Sometimes, depending on how blunt your knife is, it takes a bit longer. Whereas this should hopefully do the job. So let's let's get it open. And what I will say on the other side, it does go into a little bit more detail as well um, about the actual knife block with the integrated sharpener and also about the chef's um, knife as well. It says it's perfectly balanced. We are going to see that in a little bit because I'm, I'm definitely going to see if this is balanced. Full tang durability, that means that the steel blade is, all, is one blade all the way through the handle. Um, premium half bolster, so that means that wood or fake wood each side of the blade. It's not just one full piece of wood. Um, chef approved handle, let's see. And German stainless steel, a bit gutting being from the UK. And Sheffield just up the road, Sheffield Steel, but never mind. Um, and obviously, it does say hand wash only. Um, as you will find with good sets of knives, they will start to rust, especially if the carbon steel in the dishwasher. 
So in this box we can get an 8 inch chef knife, an 8 inch bread knife, 8 inch slicing knife, lots of 8s, a 5 inch utility knife and a 3.5 inch paring knife. And from then on, if these are any good, we're going to use them on the channel all the time. Right, so let's have a look. So first of all, is it comes with um, a little user guide and it is very little, it's two pages. Next, quick start guide, so sharpening steps, how to actually sharpen, um, and it also gives you recommended knives for different veg and things that you're gonna cut. And these all come out in two boxes. So let's open the first box. The big box. So I'm guessing this is going to be the actual block itself. Take the packaging off. And interestingly, all the packaging so far is all recyclable. No plastic in sight yet. So another good win for Ninja. Right. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this, but. You can just see the little sticky pad, so this knife block will will sit on the counter and it won't slide. You see it sticks down. And you can see at the side here you've got the stay sharp sort of edging and that is the wheel that you pop up when we're going to sharpen, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Right, this is where the real interest comes in. Come in a nice box. So first things first is the little ninja prep knife. Look at that. Ninja engraved into the handle as well and onto the blade. Then let's go with the five inch slicing and paring knife. Again, very nice. Then we have the eight inch slicing paring knife. Next, we have the serrated bread knife. And finally, the one I'm interested in really is this 8 inch chef's knife. Very nice. And you know what? Just getting them out of the box in the minute, they do feel really, really good quality. Um, just from a quick glance, you know if you get a cheap knife and it's going to be rubbish because they're light as a feather. These things have got some weight to them. And already, just picking that knife up, I can already feel that it is pretty well balanced, but we're gonna do a little check in a minute. Right, next, let's see where these all fit into place. And they do come with a little point guard as well. And so we've got the big chef's knife. I'm gonna place that right at the top. We have the bread knife. I'm gonna place this one just underneath. We've got the eight inch slicing knife. I'm gonna place that underneath. We have the five inch slicing knife. And finally, the small paring knife. And that's it, that's all the knives in their correct little houses. And it's gonna, you know, it does look pretty, pretty swished on it. In fact, I'm just going to turn that knife around so that all the blades line up and you'll see that they all fit in a nice row. So you'll see there's two bits to this. Okay, there's a big hole and a smaller hole. And the reason for this is the handle size. So if I get the big chef's knife and I put this in, 
I'm just going to make sure it's pushed all the way down. I'm going to push the knife in and it goes in until it clicks. Then you will just show you this. You'll see this little bit at the top. Now the knife is locked in, it won't come out. You need to release it with this little bit here. Pull it down and the knife will then come out. So I'll do that again. It clicks in. Okay, then what you do is you pull this little uh, stone wheel up and it says you do it 10 times. It does say to keep hold of the knife as well. So, oh, so one. Now I'm just going to do this one more time because they are brand new and I want to test how sharp they come out of the box. But Nice. So once that's down, you can then release your knife. And you do need to give it a little rinse, a little wash because tiny, tiny little metal filings will come off when you're sharpening and you don't want to get them in your food and contaminate it. So let's see how high this is on your counter. So imagine you want to put it underneath one of your kitchen cupboards. So let's have a look. So to the top of the biggest knife, it's 32.5 centimeters. And the thickest part or the width is across the actual base here. So let's have a look. And that's 14 and a half centimeters. And the actual length of the knife block to the block itself is 33 centimeters and to the edge of the knives 38 centimeters so imagine that was sat on your countertop could you cope with that out you tell me in the comments below I think you want these out because you want people to go wow what knives are them now, I think before we do any chopping, remember I said, are these knives balanced? Well, we're going to find out, okay? So, whenever you're holding a chef's knife when you're a chef, your thumb and finger go either side, pretty much on the blade. And you tuck these two fingers behind under the knife, and the top finger kind of just rests either on top or just slightly down the side. And that's how you kind of use your knife. Now, if this is balanced right, where I hold that there with my finger should be pretty much bob on balance. So let's move these off so it lands on the chopping board in case it's not balanced. Right, let's have a look if it's balanced or not. Not quite. So. If I move my finger to the actual metal bit where it says Ninja, okay, which is probably where most home cooks would hold the knives. Let's have a look there. It's perfectly balanced there. Okay, you see that? So literally just, just right on the edge of the knife handle it is perfectly balanced. So actually, they've not done a bad job of getting these knives balanced. Sharpness, razor sharp, razor sharp. Let's have, let's have a little look. Nice and soft piece of cucumber, first of all. Let's, let's have a little go at that, shall we? Yeah, so now you're in again. I'll just do that one more time. So where I would hold the knife, slightly drops right at the edge of the handle where most people would at home and it's pretty well pretty well balanced right okay so let's have a look so i've got some cucumber okay nice and soft Ooh. What do you think? Have a look. Look how thin, wafer thin that is. You can literally see through it. So, chef's knife definitely 
that has passed. That is pretty well balanced. A really, really nice weight to it and razor sharp, razor sharp. Right, next, let's have a look at this slicing knife. Let's use a, let's use a pepper. Wow. That. That is effortless. Absolutely effortless. So let's have a Again, look how thin, look how thin it's chopped and sliced. That is, that is super good. So, uh, I think it's past the pepper test. So that's the eight inch slicing knife and obviously we've done the chef's knife. So next, let's use the five inch slicing knife so what should we do let's do some carrot so I've just top and tailed the carrot okay and let's just slice through it's nice it doesn't feel quite quite as sharp as the other two knives but let me compare it on a piece of pepper well, to be fair maybe I think it's probably because it's not got the weight to it that the bigger knives have and they can help the blade go through so the carrot yeah that's made mincemeat of that hasn't it so again another nice little win right then finally I'm going to look at, I'm not going to test the bread knife today, but the little onion knife or paring knife, okay, so let's just take the edges off, okay, and I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the root in, what I'm going to do is cut it in half, take the skin off, I don't know where you are at the minute, but it's freezing in there today. Right, once you've peeled your onion, I'm gonna put it on the board with the root facing away from me. I'm gonna use this knife. Okay, and I'll try and do it facing the little camera on this side, so. Ooh. That is super duper sharp. Very nice. Same again with this one. as Jim Curry would say. So I'm going to go back to the chef's knife. This is the one that I generally will use for pretty much everything. So all I'm going to do is slice in and we're going to see how fine we can get this onion. Okay, so let's have a little look. Has uh, warped slightly out here in the cold, I think. A little bit of a wobble, but that's better. Okay. Look how fine that is. And my eyes are starting to go with the onion but yeah very good so you know what I think it's done pretty well these knives and the beauty is as soon as you feel it going slightly blunt get it in the sharpener and off you go and 
the sharpener will work on all the different size knives. So even the smaller size knives, okay, um, they go in, but into the bottom section, not the top section, and they click in as before. And you do need to pull the lever all the way up to the top and back down. So then once that's all the way back down, you're then gonna press the release at the top and it'll pull straight out. So there we go everybody. That is the block of Ninja Stay Sharp knives, the five piece set, including the block. I think for someone at home or like me, you've got an outside area, this is a really, really decent set of knives. Um, I can see them lasting quite a long time. I think the fact that they have managed to almost balance them really perfectly and what I'll do is I'll do a comparison video against Vitronox and against Global because uh, I have Global and Vitronox knives as well and we will do a comparison and we'll see which are the best balanced knives and looking at value okay so this particular set to buy um, retails generally for about £170 they can be had cheaper like this set of QVC in their um, warehouse basement um, I think this was about the £119 mark for this set um, I think that represents really good value for a, a decent set of knives that are going to last you uh, let me know in the comments below have you got a set of these knives yeah what is your favourite thing to chop with them have you still got all your fingers um, let me know in the comments um, I'd love to hear from you and obviously see you over in my Facebook group Ninja Foodie World and until next time as always thanks for watching make sure you do stay tuned to the channel by subscribing and I'll see you again very very soon thanks everyone one piece or too many